The Garden of Eden is a metaphor for the universal spiritual operating system. In the middle of your garden lies a tree of knowledge. Adam is the personification of your thoughts. Eve represents your feelings, and the serpent corresponds to the desires that beguile you. You started out as a field in infancy, but you've been plowing yourself for a lifetime. You're now a tree fruiting with knowledge of good and evil. But as those fruits ripen and fall back to the ground of your being, they enrich you with self-knowledge. This has produced a second figurative tree, your tree of life. The fruits of life produce the spiritual awakening that makes it possible for you to associate good with love and evil, mistakes made and corrected, with wisdom. You might even say that the fruits of the tree of life are pearls of wisdom, virtues. Knowledge leads to appreciation of love, love leads to appreciation of virtue, virtue leads to God consciousness. I made the leap from faith in myself to faith in God because of the synchromysticism that brought up questions about why I'm here and what I'm here to accomplish. There's an intelligence between behind everything that happens, and revelation of this truth leads to the realization that everyone's on a journey, not only to death, but towards God. God is greater than the names you're familiar with, such as Brahma, Krishna, Vishnu, Shiva, Adonai, Jesus, and Allah. God is all of them. God is the combination of him and her, just as you're a combination of male and female. The more relaxed you get about God's creation of the LGBT community, the more you'll perceive the grandeur of them. Think of the field that you were given in infancy as a square plot. You sowed that field, but society taught you to reap the rewards of the knowledge you gleaned in a circular fashion. The corners of your field were reserved for the poor. Such is the meaning of charity. Now there's a garden within you, and in it grow two trees. You were once just a tree of knowledge, but now you're a tree of life, blossoming with love. Life is now more precious to you than external knowledge. Good thoughts. I'll tell you more about my spiritual gardening techniques tomorrow.